Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my next movie review. Um, now for something a wee bit different. Um, it's just because of, there's some issues going on in the background that here, not that I'm doing anything illegal, mind you. It's just there's some stuff going on in my background that, you know, I didn't feel you guys needed to see. But, um, I am in this movie review, of course, doing Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Of course, you know, it's based on the J.K. Rowling book by the same name. Um, this is the fourth book slash movie in the Harry Potter series. Um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the movie, was released in 2005. And it was, of course, directed by Mike Newell. And, you know, it um, was, you know, based on what went on, like I mentioned, in the book with the same name. Um, of course, this is, you know, where Harry's going into his fourth year at Hogwarts, and it's based on, you know, what happens to him when he goes back. What happens is, is of course, um, is the year that they have decided to have the Triwizard Tournament, which, you know, brings out the Goblet of Fire and, of course, the name of the book. Um, what happens is, is the Triwizard Tournament is an extremely dangerous competition held between Hogwarts and two other schools. Um, what it is, is, you know, of course, Harry, Ron, we Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger, played by Daniel Ratcliffe, Rupert Grant, and Emma Watson, in that order, um, go back to school and, of course, you know, some of the supporting cast is, you know, like Ralph Fiennes, Michael Gambon, who plays Dumbledore in this episode as well, Brandon Gleason, Robert Pattinson, who's best known for Twilight, and Miranda Richardson. Um, actually, uh, this actually, this movie actually was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Art Direction, but lost to Memoirs of a Geisha. Um, this movie actually received a PG-13 rating, and, you know, it's the first one out of the four movies so far to have gotten a higher, you know, rating than PG. Um, the movie starts out, of course, with Harry having a dream about an event that takes place as he's dreaming it. Harry Potter sees an elderly man named Frank Bryce um, investigating a light that is shining in the house that he, that Bryce looks over and overhears Lord Voldemort making plans with uh, Peter Pettigrew and another man that Harry doesn't know. The, can the caretaker, Bryce, is caught and murdered by the Dark Lord. Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger express concern over, of course, Harry's dreams. Of course, Ron takes Hermione and Harry to the Quidditch World Cup to help, you know, get Harry, Harry's mind off of his nightmares that he's been having. However, you know, the Death Eaters show up and terrorize and destroy the, the spectators' campsites after the match, the World Cup match ends. Um, of course, at Hogwarts, Albus Dumbledore introduces Alistair Mad-Eye Moody as the new defense against the Dark Arts teacher, unaware that Barty Crouch Jr. has previously subdued Moody and is now using Polyjuice Person to impersonate Moody. Um, Dumbledore also announces that the school will be hosting the Triwizard Tournament, which is in which one wizard from wizard or witch from each of the three magic schools competes in three difficult tasks. The champions are selected by the Goblet of Fire, in which the names of the candidates are all placed. Cedric Diggory is chosen to represent Hogwarts. Quidditch champion, who is seen previously in the competition, is. Uh, Victor Crumb is chosen to represent Durmstrang Institute, and Fleur Delacour is selected to, to represent Bose Batten's Academy of Magic. Of course, the Goblet also unexpectedly spits out a fourth champion as Harry. Um, as Harry is underage, of course, and therefore should have been unable to compete, and eligible to compete, Hogwarts teachers and fellow students alike are suspicious. Of course, you know, it talks also about, like, how, like, you know, what transpires and the dangers and everything that goes on. And actually, it's a very good movie. And um, I do highly recommend this as, you know, the next installment in the Harry Potter series. And 
you know, I do really truly recommend watching this. I mean, even if you want to see what Robert Pattinson looked like before he, you know, vamped out and became, you know, Edward um, in Twilight. But anyway, I mean, if you want to know how the movie ends, I do recommend highly that you, you know, rent the movie or buy the movie. And, of course, this picture here is actually a copy of what the book looks like. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching and keep an eye out for my next hair potty, potter, not potty, you know, it's a, he got called Harry Potty by uh, the ghost. Um, one of the ghosts, but anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll have another movie review for you very, very soon. Thanks, and have a good evening. Bye.